Hi everyone, I'm here with my wife Lem and our son Max and uh, just together we want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and we hope that you enjoy this uh, gift that all the singers and the speakers uh, put together uh, for you this Christmas season. So uh, enjoy it and uh, be blessed and we look forward to uh, seeing you guys again uh, when we do some more ministry in the new year. God bless and have a great and awesome Christmas. He 
has come to shine his light. He has come to give us life. Oh, what a wonderful time of year. Small life's beauty there appeared, though sleigh bells ring, carolers sing away in a manger, Savior's born. Yes, away in a manger, Savior's born. Cause he is born, he is born. Away in a manger, a child is born. come to shine his light and he has come to give us life oh what a wonderful time of year yes oh what a wonderful time of year oh what a wonderful time of year I'm Walter McDougall, uh, Corey's father, and Lem's father-in-law, and we were asked to come here this Christmas, my wife and I, Dolly, and just have a few words to say. I just want to wish a Merry Christmas to everyone in this home and everyone out there. And I want to tell you how I've enjoyed a lot of these uh, interviews, and I love interviews of people coming out of the world, and coming out of sin, and coming to know God at first and letting people know about it. It's called a testimony. And I just thank you and I thank Corey and Lem, you're perfect in doing it. I enjoy the singing. Uh, my daughter-in-law Lem has written a lot of songs. Uh, one in particular by Shannon Zink, I sing every day. And that's, uh, I am not ashamed. It's, it's wonderful. So uh, that's about all I have to say. Uh, the interviews, they're just 100%. And uh, God bless. Have a good Christmas. I agree with everything that Walter said as well. I really enjoy uh, the program and uh, everything that they're doing here. I so it's so appreciated. Uh, I would also like to wish everybody a wonderful Christmas and a peace-filled and blessed year to come. Not a peace that this world can give, but only a peace that our Savior Jesus can give. Um, my prayer for you this year is that you will find that peace giver, our Jesus. That you will seek him, find him, and accept him as your Savior. And that this will truly give you uh, a peace-filled life, a peace-filled year, and a, a wonderful future. I just ask, I pray that for God's blessing uh, on you and your family in this season and throughout the coming year. The Lord bless you. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shine. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and never pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope. The weary soul rejoices for yonder place, a new and glorious morn.
and fears of all the years I met thee tonight. For Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above. While mortals sleep, the angels keep their watch of wandering love. Oh, more. Stars together proclaim the holy birth and praise the sing to God the King and peace to men on earth. How silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his heaven. Child of Bethlehem, descend on us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in, be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, the great tidings tell. Oh, come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. Oh, come to us. Abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. Merry Christmas, everyone. Lem and Corey, thank you for having us on your show. So, Tim, I'm wondering, what's your favorite Christmas memory? I'd have to say one of my favorite Christmas memories growing up as a kid was the arrival of the presents under the Christmas tree. A week before Christmas, about three or four in the morning, every morning, we'd, me and my siblings would just race to, out of bed, race to the tree and see if the presents were there. Till that one fateful morning, the presents were there. We were so excited. We just were shaking all the presents, looking for holes in the wrapping that my parents had missed so we can ascertain what the present was. And now as an, as an adult, I've come to realize the true meaning that Christmas is Jesus the sacrifice he made, how he lived a perfect life, how he laid it down of his own accord and died and rose again from the dead. So we may have eternal life. What a gift that is to us. Yeah, Christmas is also one of my favorite times of the year. Uh, I love walking around in our neighborhood where people have decorated their houses with pretty lights and their lawns are with uh, beautiful decorations. Um, we had snow this year, so we'll probably have a white Christmas. So Christmas is such a perfect, beautiful time now. But I doubt it was so beautiful when Jesus was actually born on that very first Christmas day. Um, there's a book in the Old Testament, 
Isaiah, when he talks about the climate into which um, Jesus was born, it was one of great political unrest. And um, historians say there was civil unrest and people had been so oppressed that they had no hope for the future. So it was into this messy world that um, there was no hope for the future. It was into that world that Jesus was born. And Jesus was born in a manger, so it was probably with live animals. <laughs> so it was probably stinky and messy. And um, we read that into that world, the light of the world was born. In the same book, as I mentioned, Isaiah, it talks about the names of Jesus, that he is the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting father and the prince of peace. So I don't know what your Christmas is like this year. Maybe it's perfect. Maybe you have everything you want, or maybe it's messy and um, filled with disappointment and uh, dreams that haven't been fulfilled yet, or there's so much of deep darkness around where you're walking through. I just want to tell you that Jesus wants to be born into a world like that. We don't have to wait for ourselves to clean up our act before God can come in. That's the beauty of who Jesus is. He wants to be born in our messy world so that he can bring the beauty for our ashes. So this Christmas, we want to wish you an amazing, wonderful Christmas that is full of the peace of Jesus. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round your virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep Silent night, holy night, shepherds quake at the sight, glorious stream from heaven above, heavenly hosts sing alleluia, Christ the Savior. Silent night, holy night, Son of God, love's pure light, radiant beams from thy holy face, with the dawn of redeeming grace, Jesus Lord. Thy birth, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Still a night, heilig a night, I'm schlecht, nur das traute hochheilige Paar. Holde Knabe im lockigen Haar, schlaf den himmlischen Ruh, schlaf den himmlischen Ruh. Hallo, friends. I'm glad to be on this HNT Christmas program. Christmas is a time of joy. The first Christmas has been recorded in the Bible when Jesus was born as a little baby. And uh, that time the shepherds, they were watching their flocks in the nighttime in the fields. And suddenly a host of angels and the angel of the Lord appeared to the shepherds. And the angel of the Lord told the shepherds, 
do not be afraid. I have come to give you the good news, which is a savior is born for you, Christ Jesus, in the city of Bethlehem, the city of David. It was an announcement of great joy and the shepherds were so excited to hear that. Now why is this message is a message of such a great joy? It is because for us the Lord Jesus Christ was born as a savior to give light in our lives, to make our lives meaningful. And uh, these days, you know, to bring us out of our stressed life, to help us in times of despair, frustration, and to help us to live a fulfilled life. And also, when he came, he came to give his life for us and to die for us on the cross for a penalty of my sin and your sin. Now why should Jesus die for us? It's because he loved us so much. We read in John 3.16, it says, For God so loved the world, he so loved you and me, that he gave his only begotten son that we should have eternal life. So love came down on Christmas. Love all divine, love so precious. Jesus brought that love to us. And also when Jesus came, he brought peace. So when Jesus comes into your life, he gives you peace. There was a time when I was very troubled about my life many years back. I thought I, I was not living a life which is worth and I was very frustrated, despised my own life, living in shame and in sin. But then one day I decided I should seek the Lord Jesus. So I prayed to the Lord and said, Jesus, forgive my sins, come into my heart. And that day Jesus came into my heart and he gave me that great joy. He gave me his love and he gave me his peace. So Christmas is love, joy and peace. So on this day, I just want to wish you a wonderful Christmas that Jesus will come into your life. If you have not received him, call upon him. He will come into your life. He will give you the joy and his love and his peace in your life. May God bless you. In the bleak midwinter, frosty wind made moan. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Snow had fallen, snow on snow, snow on snow. In the bleak midwinter, long ago. Our God heaven cannot hold him nor earth sustain. Heaven and earth shall flee away when he comes to reign. In the bleak midwinter, a stable place of Christ, the Lord God Almighty, Jesus Christ. Angels and archangels may have gathered there. Cherubim and seraphim throng the air. But his mother only on her maiden bliss worship the beloved with a kiss. 
What can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet, what can I give him? I'll give.